415-354-2969. Or visit SemperSolaris.com. 26% federal tax credit based on eligibility. Consult your tax advisor. Cannot be combined with any other offers. All approved credit. New customers only. Some restrictions apply. Expires 831 CSLP number 978-152. Discover matches all the cash back you earn on your credit card at the end of your first year. It's amazing because Discover is accepted at 99% of places in the U.S. that take credit cards. Learn more at discover.com slash yes. 2021 Nielsen Report limitations apply. SoCal weather from KFI, mostly sunny today with highs mid-70s at the beaches to the mid-90s inland. This report is brought to you by Discover. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We're watching the 405. The 405, and uh, it's just looking pretty good here. Now, if you were listening earlier, I mentioned an earlier problem possible in South Ryan Roscoe. We just flew it again, 118 right down to the 101 spot of bed. It's still okay. All lanes open, traffic rules, so a little better than normal, actually. But I do want to give you a heads up about a couple of big problems now. Uh, first, uh, going to Anaheim, uh, the uh, eastbound 91 State College before the 57. Terrible crash there with a backup to the I-5. Orange Hill, La Palma will still help you out. And in West L.A., the westbound Santa Monica Freeway we're at the 405. This is building up pretty quickly now. This is going through Robertson for a backup. So any of those surface streets. As a matter of fact, in that part of town, Olympic is still uh, a good option to you. It's real close to the 10. Go to the 405. If you're a mid-city, definitely pick up Washington Boulevard out to the west. A lot more coming up. Busy morning here, unfortunately. Injured in an accident. Visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Ashley Home Store. Black Friday in July. Preview the greatest sale in history at Ashley Home Store. Take 50% off plus five years interest-free financing. What? Only at Ashley Home Store. AshleyHomeStore.com. This is home. At Cedar sinai we're right here for Los Angeles. Here for the inpatients, the outpatients, and the new patients, too. Here to educate one question at a time. Here to innovate through research and specialized treatment. Here to help with over 2,000 community volunteers. Here to heal with more than 250 locations in Southern California. It's why we've been here for over 100 years. And it's why we're right here if you need us. Cedar sinai we're right here. I want to break free. Ready to break free? Norwegian Cruise Line is back and sailing this summer. Get back in the Caribbean or take in the stunning sights in Europe. And with our robust health and safety program, you can cruise confidently. Book today and enjoy 30% off all cruises, free open bar, free airfare, and more. Visit ncl.com, call your travel advisor, or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Offer and soon. Norwegian Cruise Line. Sail safe, sail free. Ships registry the Bahamas and USA. Restrictions apply. The big networks aren't covering President Trump's rally, but Newsmax is covering them live. Make sure you tune into Newsmax for President Trump's big rally live Saturday from Phoenix. Get the details of the Trump rally. Text the word REMIND to 39747 and Newsmax will send you the time. That's REMIND to 39747. And watch tonight. Newsmax's Sean Spicer and Lindsey Keith. They're exposing the flaws in our voting and how to fix them. Newsmax is on all major cable systems. Check your cable guide. Or watch Newsmax on Roku, Samsung, LG, Pluto, Zumo, and more. Plus, download the free Newsmax app on your phone. Watch President Trump's rally this Saturday live on Newsmax. Text the word REMIND to 39747 and Newsmax will send you the info and breaking news on Trump. Millions of Americans are watching Newsmax. So check Check it out and text your mind to 39747 to watch President Trump this weekend. And every night, watch great shows starting with Spicer and Company, Greg Kelly, Grant Stinchfield, Cortez and Pellegrino, and a lot more. You can trust Newsmax to be your new source. Watch Newsmax today. When it comes to keeping you and your business safe, Bay Alarm is committed to be the best. With additional safety protocols like enhanced cleaning practices, protective equipment, and social distancing. Because nothing matters more than your safety. Now, more than ever, Bay Alarm. ACO 28 CCL 880138. Have you received your free AAA full picture quote? It gives you a 360 degree view of your auto insurance quote from premiums to coverages to discounts. Visit AAA.com slash insurance to see how much you could save. You don't want to mess with the IRS. They have the power to garnish your paycheck, levy your bank accounts, and even take your home or business. That's all true, but thankfully they're offering a way out, the Fresh Start Initiative. If you qualify, you could save thousands. The experts at Optima Tax Relief will fight to get you the best deal possible, and they have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau to prove it. Call Optima for your free consultation. Call 800-783-8055. 800-783-8055. Oh, 
OptimaTaxRelief. For details, visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. We're putting a summer twist on our weekly car giveaways. Join us every Thursday in July when we'll be giving away a 2021 Porsche Cayman or up to $100,000 in cash. Your chance to win happens every hour from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. Plus, we're giving away thousands of additional free play prizes during our 10 p.m. bonus drawing. Earn entries all month long and you could drive away in a brand new car or a pocket full of cash. Only at San Manuel Casino. All thrill. Details at SanManuel.com. Must be 21. Please gamble responsibly. Here at Stater Brothers Markets, we're celebrating 85 wonderful years, and we'd like you to join us. So we're giving you the chance to win free groceries for a year. That's right, an entire year's worth of free groceries. All you gotta do is visit our website at staterbros.com to enter through the month of July. For complete contest terms and conditions, go to staterbros.com. Good luck! Stater Brothers Markets. Our reason is you. As a legal separation, which happened a while ago, did the court determine that you paid her any amount of money? No. Income-wise, uh, did she make approximately what you did, or a lot less, or more? More. Carl, as a matter of fact, if she made substantially more, you can go for spousal support. You know, I thought about that, but I'm not that type of person. Okay, well, uh, but in, in uh, see, I am, like, two in the heartbeat, but <laughs> you're you're going to be fine. She's not going to get a dollar. Handle on the law. Tomorrow morning at 8 on KMI. More stimulating talk. If you're injured and need a lawyer, go to Handle on the law.com. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, it's Friday, July 23rd. Uh, and we continue uh, handle on the news. Uh, second day for uh, Tyler. Second day for uh, Tyler Whitman uh, changed his name from uh, uh, Feinberg Stein. Uh, yes, he he is, and uh, doesn't want us to know about it. You, okay, what you just did is you outed Tyler as being Jewish. Yes. Does that mean I'm the only person on the show who is not? I think it could be that way. Wow. It could be. I don't, Alex is only half, so we're at 1, 2, uh, 2.5, 3.5. Uh, if you insist on going down this road, yes, we are at 3.5 out of 5. That's pretty impressive. And that's assuming you disregard the Jewish tradition that if the mother is Jewish, the person is Jewish, which would make Alex fully Jewish, which would make it four out of five. It's pretty we, it, it, we have as many, same ratio of Jews on the show as dentists who recommend Trident done, uh, gum. Would have been funnier point. if I hadn't stumbled the last word. That's true. All right, guys, uh, here we go. More handle on the news. Jennifer Wayne and me. Uh, COVID-19 cases are up in L.A. County. Uh, the number of cases is not as important to keep an eye on as the hospitalizations. That's where the real trouble for everybody comes if those ICUs, you know, start to lose capacity. Currently treating 645 COVID patients in hospitals. On June 21st, there were 213 reported being hospitalized. Yeah, we're going to talk to Jim uh, coming up, Jim Keedy at 7.30 and go through uh, the fear, not only his personal fear, but what's happening in the medical community. I wish, too, that, and I don't know if there's a way to do this, but I wish that L.A. County would release the staff on breakthrough cases. I want to know how many people who are coming down with COVID are vaccinated or unvaccinated or are a breakthrough case. I wish they would kind of give us more than just be like, Here's how many people are in the hospital. How many of those people are vaccinated? Yeah, all how we do know, at least the information that's being released, is those breakthrough cases, people who have been vaccinated and uh, received uh, and, and got COVID, uh, are getting it um, much milder, are not in the hospital, have certainly not died. And so it's uh, pretty good news. A lot of us could have gotten COVID anyway and just be, just be asymptomatic. Yeah, sure. But I wish they would explain that, and especially from a health perspective. If they're trying to push people to get the vaccination, why wouldn't you then be able to separate those numbers and say, well, no, but I'll tell you why. Because if you're going to get COVID anyway, why vaccinate? Well, because I mean, if they can prove that you're, you're, that the people who are hospitalized are whatever, 600 and whatever, and all these people, let's just say, this isn't the case, but let's just say all those people were not vaccinated. We already have that information. Say, but they, they haven't said of those who are hospitalized, did they? 
Yeah. Specifically? Yep. They're saying 98 point something percent sorry, okay, are, sorry, vac- sorry. are not vaccinated. Are not vaccinated. Yeah, okay. Then that, that. All right. Okay. All right. Then I will shut up and move on to fires. Okay. The Dixie Fire burning in Butte and Plymouth counties is now 113,000 acres. It's the second California fire this year to go past 100,000 acres. We're also watching the Sugar Fire and the Dota Fire, which they now call the Beckworth Complex Fire. That one is the one that's burning up near, more toward Reno, that area. That one is 105,000 acres, and uh, uh, that's about all where we stand. I know that the Sugar Fire, they're getting a better hold on than they are the Dixie Fire, the one in the Plumas County area, but, you know, we're just still at the start of the fire season. Bigger, uh, more violent, more acreage than last year, which was the California record. It's getting worse, but we knew that. The only thing is, uh, the people that uh, were the scientists that uh, have been talking about climate change for the last 50 years, uh, the only thing that's wrong with their predictions is uh, the climate change is actually worse than what they predicted. It's coming down faster. It's more. Uh, its effects are more virulent. Uh, it's it's a mess. It really is. Well, over three years ago, a 17-year-old boy went missing in that big mudslide that they had in Montecito. There had been uh, fires, and then there were these torrential rains that brought down all the debris onto that community. His remains have now been found and identified. John Canton was his name. He was found uh, no more than a 1,000 yards from the former family home that was destroyed. You've got another condo complex in Surfside, Florida, that's been evacuated after the inspectors went through and deemed the building unsafe. And this is just blocks away from Champlain Towers. That's the one that went down in Florida and killed all those people. And they're going, it seems like, condo building to building and looking through them. Just last week, they had a 156-unit condo building that they said, nope, everybody's got to get out of this one, too, because we're worried about the structural integrity of it. And I just saw this morning, too, that they're saying what's left of the tower, the rubble that's there, some of the concrete and things like that from Champlain Towers. They're telling people that they think that's unstable, and they're worried that that portion could run down and hurt people that are on the street. What a mess. So so an entire building is now being evacuated. Uh, It's going to be demolished. The developer who owns the majority of the units are buying out uh, the other condo owners, and they're all being evacuated. They're going to the local restaurants so they can get twilight dinner, senior dinners at 4 o'clock. And so you'll see a whole lot of people there. Let's take a break. Yes, please. Uh, Jennifer Jones Lee, what's going on? L.A. County Sheriff Villanueva says violent crime remains high. Just in the last week, the sheriff says grand theft auto went up 29%, arson went up 9%, aggravated assaults up 10%, and homicides up 56%. The sheriff also says violent crimes where a weapon was used went up 50%. Villanueva says the continued rise in violent crime is due to the reopening of businesses and venues, and there's a sense that the new district attorney will not prosecute. Villanueva says to help residents protect themselves, he's put more deputies on a team to help expedite concealed weapons permits. Steve Gregory, KFI News. News is brought to you by Mike Diamond, the Smell Good Plumber. The Department of Justice has started a task force to address the rise in gun violence across the U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the task force will focus on L.A., San Francisco, New York, Chicago, and D.C. This particular one, which is to work on networks of uh, gun trafficking, which are bringing the guns into the city and try to take those down in order to reduce the number of these illegal guns in the city. Garland says the task force will work with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, state and local law enforcement, and community members to get illegal guns off the streets. Women may soon be required to register for the draft. ABC's Dave Packer says the Senate Armed Services Committee has approved a policy bill that includes the new requirement. It means that just like young men, women would be obligated to register for the Selective Service System no more than 30 days after their 18th birthday. Polls have shown Americans evenly split on whether women should be included if a draft is reimposed. The U.S. hasn't implemented a draft since the Vietnam War, and the Pentagon has repeatedly said the military will stay volunteer only, but men between the ages of 18 and 25 still have to register. The Biden administration says it's issued sanctions against Cuban officials and the nation's special forces unit for its response to protests on the island last week. 
White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says ensuring peace and safety for the Cuban people is a top priority. We have, of course, condemned mass detentions, sham trials, and disappearances that are attempts to threaten the Cuban people and to silence. We continue to call for swift, the swift release of peaceful protesters who have unjustly been detained. Saki says the U.S. will also provide humanitarian aid to Cuba and address problems facing the country, including a lack of Internet access. And snail mail may get even slower. That's part of Postmaster Louis DeJoy's plan to overhaul the Postal Service. Four out of ten pieces of mail could take two extra days to reach the recipients. Critics say the most impacted customers would be in western states, including California. The Postal Service argues slower delivery standards will save money. The snail mail schedule is not the only change. Earlier this week, the Postal Regulatory Commission gave the green light to increase stamp prices. The cost of a first-class stamp will go up three pennies to 58 cents August 29th. Deborah Mark, KFI News. Let's check your drive on the 10. Yeah, Pastor, well, speed's uh, still pretty good here. What about uh, just uh, pass on something along to you? A friend of mine texted me early this morning, made the drive on the West 10 from Pomona, downtown Los Angeles. Said it was great for a change. It is getting a little slow now, approaching the 605, but not too bad. However, there's some real serious problems if we continue on the 10. This time the Santa Monica Freeway, at around the 405 West 10. The South 405 is shut down now. That's what we're hearing from CHP. Bad crash covered with clouds right now. I can't see it, but we'll keep following for you. Back up going through Mid-City right now. Washington Olympic gets out to West L.A. We understand to North 405 is open, but to South is shut down. Rocking out clear is something we just flew over and saw. Westbound 210 at the Wheatland off -ramp. That's all shut down there. That's a break down the embankment. It'll be that way for a while. You can continue to Osborne. And Anaheim Hills, some good news. He's about 91 in State College. Crash is clear. It's still kind of slow coming away from the I-5. With all lanes open, probably stick with the freeway. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Baugh, KFI in the sky. For fans of tennis, the Tokyo Olympics bring a particularly delicious drama as Novak Djokovic will be trying to achieve the Golden Slam, winning all four majors and an Olympic gold medal in the same year. And the player who has the best chance of preventing that is from Team USA. Francis Tiafo is ranked number five in the U.S., 53 in the world. But those rankings don't reflect that he gave Djokovic an extremely hard time in the second round of the Australian Open, keeping pace until just the last couple of games of the last match. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Rick Edelman, award-winning radio host and founder of Edelman Financial Engines, takes questions on his radio show. Let's hear his advice on annuities. Hey, Rick, I'm looking for a good investment. Should I consider a fixed annuity? Well, fixed annuities aren't really investments. They're insurance products. You'll get a fixed rate of return from them, but it might not be enough to offset taxes and inflation. Most annuity contracts require you to keep the money there for 5 to 10 years. And if you're under age 59 and a half, any withdrawals are subject to a 10% IRS penalty. You should talk, therefore, to a fee-based financial advisor to see if an annuity is right for you, not someone who makes a living earning commissions selling annuities. You want a fiduciary who puts your best interests first. If you're looking for a trusted partner who's got your back, talk to one of our experienced financial planners by calling 888-PLAN-RICK or visit rickedelman.com. So, cat weather from KFI. It's a mostly sunny Friday, and this is your forecast for tomorrow as well. As will be in the mid to upper 70s at the beaches, mid 80s for Metro LA and OC, mid 90s for the valleys in the IE, then inland highs Sunday and Monday should drop into the upper 80s to right at 90. We lead local, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. At Open Door, we felt it was time the home selling process left the past behind. So we got to thinking. And we invented a new way to sell your home. One without the hassles and hurdles of listings, showings, and all the unknowns. One that puts you in control. Just go to opendoor.com, enter your address, tell us a little about your house, and we'll make you an offer in minutes. How? Opendoor takes a look at your house, along with recent sales in your neighborhood, to come up with a very competitive offer, a real offer. Don't know how much you'll get. You can close when you're ready, and you can do everything online. How easy is that? Sell your home directly to Open Door and skip over the traditional process. Get your free offer at opendoor.com slash myoffer. Sell your home the new-fashioned way. Open Door.
Open Door is represented by Open Door Brokerage, licensed 0206-1130 in California, and Open Door Brokerage LLC in its other markets. Look, staying healthy isn't easy. Watching your diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier. The new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed effortlessly adjusts and responds to both of you. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. Save up to $1,200 on select Sleep Number 360 Smart Beds and adjustable bases, plus special financing. And Monday. Special financing subject to credit approval. Minimum monthly payments required. See store for details. Need a new water heater? Water Heaters Only, with over 53 years in business, offers low prices, quality same-day service, and, for a limited time, monthly payments as low as $89 for a water heater replacement. Visit waterheatersonly.com. Terms and conditions apply. Black Friday in July. Preview the greatest sale in history at Ashley Home Store. Take 50% off plus five years interest-free financing. What? Only at Ashley Home Store. AshleyHomeStore.com. This is home. American Vision Windows, SoCal's choice for energy-efficient windows and doors. AmericanVisionWindows.com For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to KFIAM640.com slash rules. Let's get to know KFI's Employee of the Month. Hello. Michael Crozer. Here's something that people don't know behind the scenes off air. Total behold. Love to cook. I do love to read, actually. Um, I'm a big history buff, so I love to read history books, biographies, and things like that. Yeah, I'm kind of an information nut, as it is. Congratulations to Michael Crozer, KFI's July 2021 Employee of the Month. KFI AM640. More stimulating talk. <laughs> And uh, welcome back on a Friday morning, July 23. Handle here in the morning crew. Uh, more handle on the news. Jennifer, Wayne, and me. Oh, great. Now authorities are reporting an outbreak of a superbug fungus that is resistant to all three major classes of medications. They uh, had an outbreak in the Washington, D.C. area. This is in a nursing home and two hospitals in the Dallas area. It is a fungus called Candida auris. It's, a, it's yeast, but it's bad yeast, and it's dangerous to uh, hospitalized patients and nursing home patients who also have other serious medical problems. Yeah, and uh, it's resistant to everything. Apparently so. There is no antibiotic. And, of course, at this point, uh, I get to say, and legitimately so, there's a fungus among us. You've been waiting How all often morning. are you able to say that uh, and have it appropriate and relevant and topical? All right. We talked about this at the start of the show. The NFL has a, uh, I'd like to call it an are incentive. Missing, uh, something going on here? Did you bump your volume knob? Uh, no, I don't think so. Are you there, Jennifer? No? Yeah. Okay, yeah. my fault. Okay, you want to know what happened? Uh, yeah, you took your headphones off. Your headphones off. off. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I was still, and the microphone was still on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, hey. uh, Mr. Techno Genius here. Oh, look, you're new around here. I Eventually, you'll you figure out yeah, how it all that's works. True. Sorry about that, Jen. No worries. So, uh, the NFL, I like to call this an incentive to encourage players and teams to make sure that everybody on board is vaccinated. Even though I think a lot of people would say this is a big old warning because essentially your team comes down with COVID and your players haven't been vaccinated. Well, there's no postponement this year like there was last year. It's just a game forfeit. No yeah. money for you. You and didn't no, play. And no See you pay. later. And yeah. we're not talking about the entire team. We're talking about enough players who are not vaccinated and test positive. Well, there you go. See you uh, later. Sorry, guys. Yep. Uh, I know we you've lost uh, your income for the year. Or at least your income for that game, and it's not like there's 162 games right. as there is in baseball. Where eh. you know what? Now that I look at the specific rules, it's not as harsh as we're thinking. Here, here's what here's what's required to forfeit a game. First of all, the game gets postponed by some kind of governmental requirement. Or the commissioner decides to postpone it because of a health thing. That they can't find a suitable date to reschedule it within the 18-week framework of the regular season. And the original postponement was because of an outbreak among unvaccinated players of one team. So actually, 
the headline and the way the league is presenting it is not entirely accurate. But it is possible that there would be a game that does get rescheduled. It's fairly punitive. But they're not going to extend, they're not going to extend the season, and and they may not try that hard to find a quote suitable date to reschedule the game. Well, that's the feeling I got is that it's going to be one of those like, oh, hey, what your team got uh, a bunch of guys on your team got COVID because they weren't vaccinated. Well, shoot, we can't find a date. Too bad. And I wonder if the other team. What can, has any say so in whether a date is suitable, right? You forfeit, and then and then I go, no, sorry, that date, sorry, league, that date doesn't work for our team. That one doesn't either. Oh well, forfeit. Maybe. Oh man, an assistant coach for the Jets uh, has died of hit and run injuries. He died yesterday, and his name was Greg Knapp. And he actually lived here uh, in Northern California, and he was hit on Saturday. He was riding his bike, and somebody hit him and ran off. Oh, it was a hit and run. Yes. Ah, I was uh, going to ask uh, that. Uh, was uh, the driver of the car, did he stop or she stopped? And Greg Knapp has been a part of a bazillion teams. Like, he was part of the Raiders. He was part of the... I think he got to start with the Falcons. He had uh, Michael Vick, Peyton Manning, Matt Ryan were all guys that he had coached. I mean, this guy was, he was Real big player, in so the league. Speak. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, California has sued some video game developers behind Call of Duty, alleging a frat boy culture. So the Department of Fair Employment and Housing filed this civil suit against Activision Blizzard, and it alleges that women were subjected to constant sexual harassment including groping comments and advances, and it alleges that company execs and HR people knew and failed to take steps to prevent it. Why would you ever think uh, that the folks behind Call of Duty would be misogynists when uh, the first Call of Duty, uh, you play uh, a customer of a hooker uh, and then beat her up? You're thinking of Grand Theft Auto. Oh, okay. But the gaming industry is rife like right with misogyny. Right. I mean, yeah. this is just the latest in a right. series of incidents. And I know women who have been, like, writing about gaming or whatever get harassed. Yeah, it really is a constant boys uh, network uh, that uh, do this. Very few women are involved in video games. By the way, a uh, p apology to Call of Duty. Uh, yeah, before I get sued, uh, I was just wrong. Innocently wrong. Uh, let's take a break, okay? Uh, yes. Move on. Yes, good idea. All right, we'll be back and finish up Handle on the News. Uh, Jennifer, what's going on? Parts of Arizona got hit by a powerful monsoon. Last night, storm in Phoenix had high winds and heavy rain that knocked out power to thousands of homes and businesses and actually swept cars off the roads. Beto O'Rourke is sending money to Texas Democrats who left to go to Washington, D.C. to obstruct the passage of a voting bill. The former presidential candidate says the funds are to cover the cost of lodging meals and transportation. And as we just talked about, New York Jets assistant coach Greg Knapp has died after a bicycle accident near his home in the Bay Area. The 58-year-old had been in critical condition since Saturday when he was hit by a car. We'll take a look at your drive with VKFI in the sky next. Hey, Gary, how are things? Things are great, but I crushed my mortgage payment with owning without even leaving my couch. I got a refi at a great low rate, and owning did it all in less than three weeks. It was easy. No must, no fuss. Be like Gary. Call owning at 833-2-OWNING and crush your mortgage payment with today's 15-year fixed refi at 1.5% rate, 1.912% APR. That's right. 15-year fixed at 1.5% rate. 1.912% APR. Even if you've refinanced recently, call 833-2-OWNING and let us crush your monthly payment even more. NMLS 2611, licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. Subject to credit approval. Call 833-852-6464 for terms and conditions. Equal housing lender. You can crush it, too, with a 15-year fix, 1.5%, 1.912% APR refi. That's 833-2-OWING, or go to owning.com. From now until the end of July, be sure to stop by your local grocery outlet to participate in their 11th annual Independence from Hunger Drive. When you donate $5 in cash or a donation bag, they will give you a $5 coupon for a future visit. 
SoCal weather from KFI, mostly sunny with highs mid-70s at the beaches to the mid-90s inland. This report is brought to you by Grocery Outlet. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We're watching the 210. Sure do. It is kind of easy, really. Easy and sunny. The westbound 210. Uh, San Dimas, Pasadena, that drive. But don't tense up. A little slow approaching the 605. That's kind of normal stuff. But good news. West of the uh, 605, all the way to Pasadena, it's looking good. Now, not so good West LA, Santa Monica. Low clouds are keeping us out of there. But here's the report from CHP. Westbound 10, Santa Monica to the South 405 shut down. That'll impact the going to the North 405 as well, but bottom line, it's really jammed now. Much slower than it should be for this time of the morning. Coming away from Crenshaw, Washington Boulevard. Washington Boulevard, as a matter of fact, will take you all the way to our, uh, to an on-ramp to the uh, North or South 405, if that's where you're going, so uh, just be heads up. Uh, east LA, what we're looking at right now is east before Atlantic. Uh, is over to the shoulder. A bunch of cars and CHP officer there as well. Slowing down a little bit. Just be careful. North 710 going to the East 60. And finally, Anaheim. Uh, great news if you missed all these early reports. As a matter of fact, I apologize. I think it's 6 o'clock. I said it was westbound. Duh. It was East 91 around the 57. But it's clear. So just a little slow approaching. No problems. Injured in an accident. Visit Superwoman to Superlawyer.com. Jeff Ball. AFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Ashley Home Store. Black Friday in July. Preview the greatest sale in history at Ashley Home Store. Take 50% off plus five years interest-free financing. What? Only at Ashley Home Store. AshleyHomeStore.com. This is home. Rates subject to change without notice. Minimum loan amount requirements apply. 50% loan to value and 625 credit score. Certain restrictions apply. Subject to credit approval. NMLS 3290. Loans made or arranged pursuant to a California Finance Lenders Law License number 6036970. Equal housing lender. Okay, I know you might just be rolling out of bed right now, but I know you've been hearing these great home loan rates being advertised. And maybe you've thought, oh, I'm sleepy and dreamy, and I know I probably won't qualify for one of those, right? Well, wake up. I want you to pick up the phone and call and tell a loan because if you're somebody who's maybe just got okay credit or maybe you're self-employed, whatever it is, Intel Alone can help you get that great home loan that you need. And right now, Intel Alone is offering a 1.99% APR with no points or lender fees. And this is even if you've just got that so-so credit score of, say, 620. A 1.99% APR with no points or lender fees, even if you've got a credit score of 620. So call and tell a loan today before the rates go up. Call them at 1-800-918-6200. That's 1-800-918-6200. Or just go to IntelLoan.com. Intel Alone. Borrow smart. Hello. Hi, Monica. I'm a helpful Southern California Honda person, and I'm calling to give you a random act of helpfulness. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you'd like help building a podcast studio. Well, I'm putting together a small entrepreneurial business. Okay. I'm currently unemployed due to pandemic. Hmm. I wanted to start a podcast. Oh, cool. Just to step myself up a small studio where I'm able to put my ideas out there, as well as probably help others hmm. who have something to say and they just don't have an avenue to do it. Well, Honda would like to help. We're going to get you the recording equipment you need. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Today, we help start a podcast, and we can help you too. Right now, you can get 0% APR financing on an award-winning Honda SUV, like the 2021 HRV. Visit SoCalHondaDealers.com to find the helpful Honda dealer near you. For well-qualified buyers on approved credit through Honda Financial Services, Monica is a real person and was paid to be on the radio. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. Summer is here, and as the weather gets warmer, we all start reaching for more water. But instead of plastic bottles, how about just fill your favorite glass with filtered water from any tap in your house?